Now that we're able to show the bottom half of our face in more and more situations, I figured it was the perfect time to share my favorite drugstore lipsticks for summer 2021. Not only do I think these shades are perfect for summer, but I also wanted to pay attention to the formulas. So I have mattes, I have glosses, and tinted lip balms to share a little something for everyone, and I will be swatching them on my lips. So we're gonna get straight into that, but first, if you're new here, hi, my name is Miranda. Welcome to my channel where we talk all things budget beauty. If that sounds interesting to you, then be become the newest member of the Slashed Squad by hitting subscribe and the bell icon. First up, this is the lip product that sort of converted me into a glossy lip lover, and it's actually a lip oil. This is the Ulta Beauty Tinted Juice Infused Lip Oil. So this is Ulta's own brand, and it's only $9. This is the shade Coral Punch, which I think is just this really beautiful wash of pink that's perfect for spring and summer. This is a vegan product, and it has a blend of a ton of different oils, including coconut, macula, argan, macadamia, and cranberry oils plus vitamin E that prevents moisture loss in the lips. It really does feel hydrating. It feels so smooth on the lips and it's not sticky or thick feeling. It definitely feels cushy and balmy and it stays feeling like that for hours. Now, obviously this is a glossier product, so it's not going to be transfer proof or budge proof, but the color itself stays within the lips. It doesn't feather at all. And I find myself wanting to reapply this throughout the day to just get that boost of hydration. And as you can see from the swatches, it does have a good amount of pigment to it, but it does stay translucent. You get sort of this glassy effect that's very on trend right now. All right, this next pick is for those who love a bold red in a matte finish. This is the Revlon Super Lustrous, the Luscious Matte Lipstick in Fire and Ice. Fire and Ice is such an iconic shade for Revlon. They've made it in a lot of their formulas, and it is this beautiful blue-based red, super flattering on a lot of skin. Tones. So this is only $8.49, and I have to say this is probably one of my favorites, if not my favorite matte lipstick formula. It's so comfortable, and I would say that this gives you more of a satin matte finish. It's not going to be completely flat matte. But with that said, it contains agave, mooring oil, and kupuaku butter, and it glides onto the lips so smoothly. It feels just buttery and balmy. There's absolutely no tugging when applying this lipstick. However, it could emphasize flakiness on the lips because at the end of the day, it is a matte lipstick. So I would recommend you exfoliate if you do have drier lips. I have a video swatching every shade in this collection. I will leave the link below. Next up on the list is the NYX Filler Instinct Plumping Lip Balm in the shade Basos. Now they call this a lip balm, but I would honestly probably categorize it more as a shiny lipstick because look at this pigment. You get a much higher color payoff than you do with most tinted lip balms. This is a pigmented lip balm. Now this is a plumping product. It contains hyaluronic acid and ginger and there is a bit of a warm tingling when you apply it. So I know that can be hit or miss with people enjoying that sensation, but it's definitely not stinging on me at least. So these are $8 at Ulta and they also provide eight hours of hydration. These feel really slick and moisturizing as you swipe them on. And Basos is a solid coral. It is that perfect in-between of red and pink. And I just love coral for spring and summer, as you can tell. You are left with a shiny finish. It's not exactly glossy, just a little bit reflective. And even though this is a lip balm product, if you're not drinking or eating, this color could last you like up to five hours, I would say. But you are gonna wanna reapply if you're drinking out of a cup or eating. It will take most of the color with it. I've just been super into lip oils and tinted lip balms recently. This is not the last one I'll be mentioning in this video, especially for summer. I've just been leaning more into comfortable lip products and this is definitely one of them. Next up is a lipstick that I think was so underrated when it came out last year. This is the Milani Ludicrous Matte Lip Crayon in the shade V Cute. This is $8.99 and again, this is a very comfortable matte finish. They describe it as satin matte, but I feel like it looks like a very classic flat matte finish without the flat matte feel. It's super pigmented and smooth as you apply it. The formula contains shea butter, argan jojoba, and avocado oils. It's non-drying. And yes, this shade does leave a pink stain behind, so even if a little bit comes off while you're eating, you will have pink underneath. 
It doesn't feather or bleed outside the lip lines, so you don't necessarily need a lip liner. My only downside to this crayon is that there's no way to get it to be pointy. As you can see on my crayon, I've been using this since last summer and the point is completely dulled. It's like totally rounded and it doesn't have a sharpener on the bottom like a lot of other lip crayons do. It's literally just nothingness. <laughs> now it's not completely transfer proof, especially while it's freshly applied, but even if it does transfer, it doesn't mess up on your actual lips. So this can last for hours. And I love this rich magenta shade. This would look so gorgeous on tan to deep skin, but otherwise it's also just a really great nighttime summer color. This next drugstore lipstick recommendation for summer may come as a surprise to you if you watched my ColourPop rant video, but this is like the one product from ColourPop that I repurchase over and over again again because they haven't discontinued it and they actually keep it in stock. This is the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in the shade Bumble. Bumble was actually the very first shade of the Ultra Matte Lip that I ever tried back when ColourPop launched in what, like 2014? And I think it's sort of a unique shade that I haven't really found in this type of formula from other brands. It's $8 and as you know, this is a very matte, pigmented, long-lasting lipstick. Some may consider this lipstick drying because it is a true ultra matte. <laughs> So if you're sensitive to dry lips, I would definitely recommend exfoliating and putting on lip balm ahead of time. Now Bumble is a pretty interesting and versatile shade. I would consider it sort of a warm, shady rose. <laughs> it's like not red enough to be red and it's not pink enough to be pink. It sort of has a mauve vibe. So this most likely will last you all day unless you eat something really greasy. And I do feel more comfortable recommending this to you versus other ColourPop shades products because like I said, this has been around since launch. This is probably like my fourth tube. I guess it's popular enough for them to deem worthy to keep around, unlike some of their other shades and products or a lot of their other shades and products. Next, we have a shade from what I think was my favorite lipstick launch of 2020, and there weren't very many of them, but this was definitely the best. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Last High Shine Lipstick in the shade Pinky Ring. So these are $2.99 at drugstores and in Ulta. It is a very moisturizing and shiny, glassy finish. It's sort of like a lip gloss lipstick fusion. And I don't know what better way to describe this shade Pinky Ring as a Barbie pink or maybe a candy pink. The formula contains muru muru butter, mango butter, sunflower, and watermelon seed oil. They are so comfortable. They're also fragrance free, which I appreciate. The color starts off a little bit sheer, but as you can see from the swatch, it's very buildable and it builds up quickly, but it's never going to be opaque. Also, because this is a glossy formula, it's not transfer proof or budge proof, but the color does stay within the lip lines. It doesn't feather or bleed, though you are definitely going to need to reapply throughout the day if you are drinking and eating. Again, I have a whole video swatching this line as well as the Mega Last Matte Lipsticks. I will leave that down below. And this last drugstore lipstick for summer is great for those of you who want something matte and long lasting, it's the Pop Beauty Permanent Pout in Butter Babe. Now Pop Beauty is a little bit more of a mainstream drugstore brand in the UK, I believe, but they are available here in the US at select Walgreens and CVS locations and also online. This is $7.99 and Butter Babe is probably as close to orange as I feel I personally look good in. <laughs> It's sort of more of an orange creamsicle. Now, this formula is not going to be for everyone. This is a very classic matte finish, which means it can feel dry and it can accentuate lip lines. So prep is definitely gonna be key if you don't want that dry feeling. Exfoliate and moisturize ahead of time. I would say this performs pretty similarly to the ColourPop liquid lipstick. It will hang in there pretty well. Oily food might break it down in the middle. I'd love to know which drugstore lipstick shades you'll have in your routine this summer. Let me know in the comments below. Maybe I'll add them to my lineup. Today's shout out goes to Oxford Style. Thanks for being a member of the Slashed Squad. And join me over in this video next where I share my updated drugstore skincare routine for acne. I'll see you over there. Bye.